airbit.com Music producers, it is supremely important that we protect our beats. It is one of the most important things that we can do, and sometimes the process can be a little bit overwhelming, but thankfully, Airbit has got your back. Now, how do we do that? If you click over here to the License and Contracts tab, what you'll see is that with every single one of your leases, every single one of your exclusives, we have provided a contract for every single one of them. So a customer literally cannot have the ability to get your beat or even purchase your beat without agreeing to your terms or without at least acknowledging the contract. All beats ordered come with the contract. It's very important that you know that. Now, the way that you go ahead and access your contracts and check them out is by clicking here to the license and contracts and then clicking here to the edit contract. Depending on what particular license you want to edit, you click on this blue edit button and you'll get right to it. Let's go to the exclusive one. If you go to the edit contract, what you're going to see is two different tabs up here for your exclusive contract. You're going to see a custom contract, which is basically your ability to copy and paste maybe from a Word document, an email or a PDF. You can basically add your own custom terms, lay them out here, copy and paste, like I said before, right here in the description. And you'll have that custom contract attached to your exclusive beats. Now, say you don't have a contract or don't really know some of this language. Go down here to the template contract. You have every single section that you have already gone over when you agreed to these specific terms. Now, how do you change those terms? We did a whole nother video about that, but click here and we're going to see some things be reflected. Now, in this example, we said no to broadcasting rights, but it's an exclusive license. So let's just say yes. And let's see how that's reflected in the contract. Click save. Template contract. Broadcasting rights. And as you can see, the licensor hereby grants to licensee an exclusive license to broadcast on air. So that has been reflected as you have made that change. Something else worth noting is that before you start to actually get busy with these contracts, make sure that you have changed your legal name and your company name so that it's accurate within your contract. First thing you want to do to go ahead and change that, go to settings, go to selling preferences, and then establish those particular categories that you need to fill in. First and foremost, government name, I'm going to say Dewan Howard. Company name has already been established, which is the Chill Palace. And then, of course, you want to click save. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and see how it's reflected on the contract. Edit contract. And as you see, it fills in my name and it's really just waiting on the name of the person that's actually going to fill this out. Now, you may have a question as to what does it actually look like when the client fills it out? Here's an example of a contract that has already been signed. Now, it's between I and the John Doe character, whoever <laughs> actually purchased this beat. And as you click down here, you're going to see all the different terms are laid out. You're going to see a contract that is signed by not just myself, but also this particular uh, person that purchased this exclusive. You have to understand these contracts are so accurate that even the IP addresses have been taken to account and they provide just amazing protection against fraudulent chargebacks in case somebody goes that route with your business. Once again, this is Curtis King of Airbit. Have a good one. Airbit.com Music producers, don't forget to subscribe to the Airbit channel right now.